everybody, welcome back to Mini Mino. So last week's video was of me kind of like getting ready for the Moonrise Gala. And specifically at the gala, I was so kindly gifted a Surface 9 Pro. I don't know if they were like sponsoring the event or if they were just uh, doing stuff with some of the attendees but i was one of them and honestly the timing is crazy because i've been wanting a laptop for like a little bit now just because like in the past i was way more comfortable just doing work at home but recently i found myself wanting to work outside maybe at like a coffee shop and like this specific video isn't sponsored at all um i just had to give you context because basically today i want to make a sleeve for this laptop and I specifically want to make a sleeve that can also hold a charger and also a mouse because I'm like really not used to using a trackpad so having the mouse be somewhere like always close by is really good because I've had days where I like forget it and I'm like Ugh. but yeah also I was like planning to make something that matches the design because basically this one is specifically made for like Lunar New Year and so it has like some dragons and stuff on it so I feel like I want to make a dragon inspired maybe like tapestry crochet which is so funny because I feel like I keep doing stuff with dragons um but I feel like it's so fitting because I am born in the year of the dragon you know anyways I went to Joann's to get some supplies because I don't have the right kind of yarn for what I want to make so I got just some of it here's a little montage of me at Joann's Okay, so the two things that I really wanted to make sure I got was yarn and also some like padding for the inside. So I specifically wanted some yarn that's like a little bit more rigid. So something that's gonna kind of hold its shape way more than just like a normal acrylic yarn. And so I got some sugar and cream. I got it in these three colors because I think these are the three colors I'm gonna use. And I think they should be enough. If not, we'll figure it out, you know? But yeah, I'm actually even thinking of using a hook that's like a little bit smaller in size just to really get it like tight. And for the padding, I actually went to the remnant section. And I've actually never seen the remnant section before. Um, I think it's a section where all the leftover yarn that's like too small to still be like on those like big roller things. So they just like have it in these tiny little packages. And I think they're like relatively cheaper. So I actually got a couple of these. So this first one is I think gonna be really good padding. Like if you look closely, I think this is meant for padding. So hopefully it'll keep the surface very safe. But the material on the top is a little bit like scratchy so I think I'm gonna go over that as well with this. Which is like a softer type of fabric so I think this would be good as a lining on the inside. Yeah and this one was like six dollars so um, I'm a fan of remnants. I love remnants. I actually got two of these because I feel like I might want to use them for future projects. So yeah, that's what I got at Joanne's. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go make a gauge swatch just so I know how many roughly like stitches I need for the width and the height um, cause I'll be making my own pattern or like, I don't know what it's called, like the grid, the grid thing I'll be making one of those Okay, so it's the next day and I finished my gauge swatch. Um, I actually ended up making it into kind of like a practice run for the tapestry crochet because I've actually never done this before. But now I have. Um, I follow this pattern from Punto Art Design. I followed the um, bunny one. And I think it's cute. I definitely think I'm going to go for more of like a block shape rather than like line art. but. I'm glad I know how to do it now. But yeah, it's basically a 20 by 30 gauge swatch. And I also made sure just to know what it'll look like in the end. I steamed it and then I also blocked it. So let's actually take this off and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have to do a little bit of math um, to figure out how many rows of stitches to make a laptop sleeve for this surface. I'm gonna make some food. 
would love. Okay, so after using some very, very, very advanced mathematical equations, I figured out that I need 36 stitches long and 65 stitches tall. And now I actually have to make the pattern, like the grid pattern, and the cool thing about this laptop that I got is it's also a tablet, so I can actually just draw straight on the laptop. Okay, so as you saw, I finished making the basically like grid pattern for the design I want to do and then I put it on this website called stitchfiddle.com to make it into a graph like this and then I printed it out just so it's like easier for me to have because I feel like it's going to take a couple days to do this um, which is why I'm just going to do it as a montage, so enjoy. So it's day four of me crocheting the dragon and I think I'll finish it today because I only have to do seven more rows and the reason why it took me so long is because I have like work and stuff and so when I go home I sometimes only have energy to do like 10, 15 rows. But in reality if I had like nothing I think I would have been able to do it in one or even two days. So yeah this is what we have. I'm gonna finish the last seven rows and then we'll be done with one side of the sleeve. <laughs> So although I'm done with making like what I did on the graph, I think I'm actually gonna elongate the top just because I didn't realize that it would like stretch out this way a lot more. Like if you see the drawing, I feel like, like yeah, if you see the drawing, you can tell that it's stretched out one way but not the other, <laughs> just like me. So I'm just gonna keep adding rows until I feel like it's a good size. Okay, so I'm finally done crushing the dragon. I ended up actually adding a bunch more on the top and actually a little bit more on the bottom. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really good, but we're not even halfway done because technically this is only one side of the sleeve. Speaking of sleeve, this turned out way bigger than I thought it would. Let's just say my math wasn't like mathing properly. And so I was actually thinking, what if I just make it into a laptop bag. So instead of putting my laptop in my tote bags, I could just have a tote bag specifically for my laptop. I think I'll decide what to do eventually in the end, but for now I'm just gonna continue doing the other side. I think I'm gonna do that in black and then I'm going to attach everything together um, and then figure out the lining on the inside. So yeah, another couple of days crocheting. Wish me luck. Hi. <laughs> so it's been about two weeks since I started working on the black part of the sleeve or bag or I don't know what it's gonna be, okay? But yeah, I just got back from Indonesia. So I was missing for a while <laughs> and sadly I was not able to finish it. So I would say I'm like halfway through the black part now. And let's just say this is, you know, as the title say, is a part one. <laughs> So what I currently have is just the tapestry, a little bit of the other side of the sleeve or bag, and that's basically the end of today's video. <laughs> and there is going to be a part two, obviously, um, of me finishing up the lining and the pockets and everything. So 
um, that'll come out next week. Pinky promise. <laughs> and yeah, um, I did not mean for this to be a part one and a part two, but hey, your girl gotta work, your girl gotta travel, and um, I didn't want to like skip two weeks in a row because I didn't post anything when I was in Indonesia. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you at part two, okay? Bye!